Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to this Super Liminal Films, Super Liminal Games YouTube video. I am Dan, back on the channel again, and I am here with another Brawl deck. This time it's Historic Brawl, and it is Rem Carolus Stalwart Slayer. I have found for a while now that Spells Matter is sort of my favorite way to play Magic anymore. Casting instants and sorceries, triggering things. Usually I play that in some form of a teamer, uh, rug, shell, um, or even just blue-red, but Rem has really struck me, uh, struck the burn player that is inside of my heart, and I uh, put this together from a couple of lists that I saw online and a little bit of uh, my own, because for some reason none of the lists I saw were running Leon and Lightscribe. And uh, that's card's just great. <laughs> Card's great. Magecraft is a great ability for Spells Matter, and uh, Leon and Lightscribe is a lot of fun. So, deck doesn't run a ton of creatures, but Lightscribe is definitely capable of, um, you know, running up the score, I guess. I'm not going to go through every card in the deck, because as a Historic Brawl deck, it is 100 cards. Um, the deck list is linked down below on my Moxfield account, so if you want to go there and take a look at the deck, you can see everything. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I'm doing right, tell me you think it's really cool. I am going to, now that we've had a chance to look at the deck at least, I'm going to go and play a couple of games. Because that's how we do this on this videos. This videos? These videos. So I've found Historic Brawl to be uh, a really interesting space. It's starting, you know, every set feels a little bit more and more like Commander. Okay, uh, Niv-Mizzet, I see. Perrin, that's going to be interesting. Alright, so we're a very red heavy deck. And so this does not really surprise me um, that we've got a hand like this. I think against niv -Mizzet, we're probably going to have to mulligan this, even though I want to be able to cast this Bloodthirsty Adversary because it's really cool. Um, I'd like to be able to cast the Wanderer uh, at some point, and I don't know if we're going to draw the white mana. Same with Aurelia. So I'm going to take the free mulligan, and okay. All right. Um, yeah, we've got lands, we've got spells. Uh, we've got a spell that can actually deal with uh, Niv in a bit. Uh, the Flame of Keld is awkward, so we're probably not going to end up casting this Grape Shot for anything, but uh, this deck definitely has a lot of 1 and 2 drops, so late in the game you can actually get a pretty good Grape Shot, which is absolutely gross with Rem Carolus. We'll lead on Mountain here, see what our opponent does. We've got some removal in the Lightning Strike and the Justice Strike, and even in the Grape Shot if we get there. Uh, we're going to play White for this and just pass it up. So now we've got the Lightning Strike and the Justice Strike if we need the removal. And if not, we just cast Rem next turn, and they've played another tap land, so we're drawing land. But we're going to play Rem and just attack. Bonk. So we've still got, I think, a pretty good hand here. It's Again, it's a little awkward that we don't have um, really the time to go off or anything, but if our opponent plays pretty much anything here, we can Lightning Strike, Grape Shot, and Grape Shot dealing double damage with Rem is pretty awesome. And if our opponent's content to just continue to develop, then so will we. And we can just keep drawing cards and attacking them for two. That is a that is a solution to victory with this deck, is just attacking them. So we've got the pillar now. We've actually got a lot of damage in hand now, because we've got three here. 4 here is 7, and 2, 4, 6 here uh, is, no joke, 13 damage in hand, plus the 2 off of Rem. So, we've got a lot of damage here. And if our opponent's content to just keep playing lands and spell, or lands instead of spells. Alright, now we've got a spike field hazard and the mana to do all of that, so that's even cooler. So now it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 2, 4, 6, 8... Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's going to take four red, which we don't have, so that's the problem there. But we could still... And actually, we can... Oh, we can't Grape Shot, so let's... One, two, three... Let's start it up. Let's see if our opponent's got counter spells. Six more, and then we attack with Rem. Awkward having the Grape Shot and the Flame of Keld in there, because that would just be 
a lot of fun. But this is a lot of damage. Before they can get uh, Niv down as well. The problem, I guess, with playing a six mana commander in this format is it takes you a while to get to it if you're not in uh, if you're not in green. All right, so they could. Well, I don't necessarily. Maybe they didn't need to counter anything there. I don't know. Probably just gonna like lightning strike them and attack them for two next turn, depending on what they do, and then cast Flame of Keld so we can draw some cards. It's gonna be a little frustrating to discard Justice Strike, but if we draw land, we can play all three of them if we need to play the strike. They discard a Cancel and a Dragon's Fire. All right. Them discarding Cancel feels good. Sarkin. We're not developing the board there, so that also feels pretty good. And noticing they missed on land here, they didn't get to their fifth land, is pretty good. Yep, discarding an Ionize. And we drew a land. We don't need to cast the Justice Strike, though, so we will just... Lightning strike their face. This says to me they probably have a counter spell. Okay, they have good old fashioned actual factual counter spell. Still gonna attack the face. And gonna play this flame McKeld. So we get to draw three cards next turn. Hopefully some or all will be burn spells. That just feels pretty good. Alright, there's their sixth land. Now is where things get difficult. Because, yep, yeah, now they have technically eight, eight mana with the Sarkin. So they can cast Niv and still hold up counter spells. This is sort of what I was worried about, was them being able to cast Niv and hold up some sort of interaction spell, because if we're going to draw three cards... Okay, you don't help, and you guys don't help either. But we'll do that, and we'll do that, and see what they'll give us. The Grim Lava Mancer is really unfortunate because it's just going to eat the Niv Mizzet damage as soon as they can produce Niv Mizzet damage. But this is what we were hoping to dodge here. We were hoping to be able to kill them before the Niv, and we were a tur turn or two away from being able to do that, unfortunately. But now that the Niv is down, as somebody who's played a fair bit of Niv Mizzet Perrin, now that the Niv is down, this is going to hurt. Yeah, drawing four cards. So here goes Rem. We have to rip uh, pretty well uh, next turn. We basically have to rip exactly... Um, let's see, what are our options here? What gets us out of this? Uh, not much. I think it's basically kicked Royal Eruption and hope they don't have a counter spell is the only thing we can do here. But four mana says they probably have a counter spell. Yep. Yep. And they're not going to attack with Niv because they're not stupid, so. Alright, Bone Crusher's going to put them to two. Because four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play this. Don't have a counter spell. Come on. Yeah, okay. They're disallowing that. So we will put them to two. And maybe, maybe we draw Lightning Helix or something. Oh, they had the spell pierce. Woof. All right. Well, we can see that one, because their counter spells and drawing a thousand cards is definitely not going to go well for us. 
on to the next. That was exciting. Love me a Spells Matter deck, and a Spells Matter mirror match feels even better. Okay, Plains, Mountain, Lumamancer, Manatai, love that card, and some Burn. Alright, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, feels good. Also love getting people early game with Manatai. That is just a great feeling. For some reason it feels way better as Manatai than it ever did as Force Spike. I don't understand that. So we're not going to lead on Lumamancer because I have a strong feeling they're going to try to play uh, Trellisara on turn two, because I would if I were them. So we can send that back to their command zone. We also have Anger. We have a nice Sweeper in hand, assuming we draw another red source. Oh, okay. Cold Steel Heart. That seems fine. And we'll take the one here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. And that makes things indestructible, you say. Hmm. Just gonna go ahead with the flame channeler then. Kind of not in a great place for lands right now, which is frustrating because this deck has such a low curve and runs 40 land, but. Alright. Gideon's Company. We're going to Pillar, a Selfless Savior. See if they see the line. Yep. They sack it so our Flame Channeler doesn't flip. And we do not attack. Not going to attack our 2-2 into their Indestructible 3-3. Notably, they are also very much not playing around our Mana Tither. Or, they are playing around our Mana Tither right now. You got everything, opponent. Go ahead and... Cry into my Cheerios here, because it's not great. When does that gain life? It doesn't. So nothing in here gains life. Well, that gains life. Alright, we're going to give him... We're going to give him the business. We'll give him one turn. We have Justice Strike. We have the Mana Tithe, Angel of Destiny, and they still didn't tap out. How are they playing around this Mana Tithe that they don't know about? That's maddening. I'm gonna kill that Angel of Vitality. And block there. Yeah, this ain't going well for us, folks. Could be our takedown. We don't have a lot of creatures, so... This is, uh, this is not going well. This is not going well. I'm just going to go ahead and scoop this up. Okay, bad draw from us, great draw from our opponent. In that we've seen three lands to their six, or five plus a flipped uh, land. I cannot say that these games so far have been representative of what this deck is capable of doing. And that I was on like a three game winning streak before this, <laughs> before recording this video, go figure. Alright, Neheb, this should be a little bit more straight up and down. We go first, we've got three lands, we've got, yeah, alright, this seems cool. Lumamancer and the Flame Channeler is a little bit of a nombo, but Lumamancer will eventually set up. Go, go, Limomancer. Being on the play will really help here, I think. I'm going to play the Flame Channeler next turn, and then I can suss out what I need to do for turn three, whether it's steal something out of their hand with Spellbinder or 
slaying fire or something. Or just play Rem and attack them for four. Okay, opponent's hovering a lot of our cards. We'll play Rem. And we'll attack for four. Or not. That is fine. Move right into the command zone and attack for two. You got it, opponent. You got it, opponent. Go ahead and attack him for two. Bonk. They're both awkward uses of mana here. But I'm going to Elite Spellbinder and try to tag something out of their hand. Because if they don't have another mana source, they can't play in ahead next turn. If they do have another mana source... Alright, Bolt with Flame Channeler, that's fine. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, ouch again. And yet further ouch. Huh. I'm gonna steal the Shatter Skull Smashing. Make them work a little bit harder to kill my creatures, and now they don't have a land. Or yes, they do. Huh. Okay. Guess they can still play that. Would not have expected that. Well, we're going to attack with our flyers. And hope we get another turn. Because if we can exert Glorybringer and Slaying Fire, we can kill the Neheb. I'm going to take a bunch of damage here. Opponent's going to have a bunch of mana. Hopefully they don't bane fire out our glory bringer. <laughs> Hopefully they get greedy. Hopefully they get greedy. They did not get greedy. Maybe? They did not get greedy. Alright, so now we have to construct an answer for Neheb. Which, so far, we can only deal 4 damage. Which, with this, is 7. So... Yep. <coughs> Pardon me, I think we're just passing. bunch of damage here. And they're probably just going to recast it. Because they'll have all that damage now. This is cool. I have not played against the Neheb deck before. Yep, just go ahead and recast it, opponent. I'll find another way to answer it. Oh. Gosh. Rough business. Versus Rage? Oh boy. We are very dead. Alright, well... One wonders if we'll actually manage to rip off a win here tonight. But we'll keep running it back, because I, even if I'm losing at Historic Brawl, or Brawl in general, I'm actually having a really good time playing those formats right now. 
Uh, I super have not barely played any standard. I think I played three or four games with the deck that won Worlds and have not touched it since. Um, still playing Historic Ladder for ladder rewards and stuff uh, with Elves. So, oh, Elves, speak of the devil, Mommy Marwan. I need to put that together for Historic Brawl. That might be my next video. All right. Damn, we don't have to play again. This is going to suck. But, yeah, okay. We got a pillar. That's good for removal. We got a Gitu Lava Runner. All right. I'm all right with keeping this. I would absolutely love a Board Sweeper or multiple target damage or something. Or just my opponent to not have a turn one play. That's also great. Okay, Druid of Cow. Hmm. Yeah, all right. We need to get Rem down in quick, because we can start machine gunning their stuff. Varus, all right. Ram down. No attacks. Next turn, we start hitting them. Probably here comes Marwin. Nope. Ah, perfect. Literally. Yep, go into Fandelver. Okay. So we're going to play Chandra. We're going to get two red mana. We're going to play with fire. Wait, what's the... Ward 1. Oh, shit. Okay, well, they conceded anyway. So, alright. We were going to start machine gunning their board. Uh... I forgot about Varus's ward there, but it didn't really matter, because we were going to be able to kill it next turn anyway. So, we'll take our first win with this deck on, on this video. Seems good. I've been the mono green elf deck against a spells matter burn type deck. It's, uh, it's a tough row to hoe. Alright, mono black. This is uh, Queen of Lockthwain, Ayara, first of Lockthwain. Okay, we've got white mana, we're on the play, we have no creatures, but we have burn and burn, and eventually Torbran. Uh, we also have ram on three, so yeah, seems fine. Kibera takedown. Ah, opponent is mulliganing. Opponent's got the sweet, sweet Seb McKinnon sleeves, these are so good. I really need to put sleeve, more sleeves on my brawl decks. Oh no, opponent, not like this, you're a mono black deck. All you need is spells and swamps. All right, then. Terribly sorry, opponent. I hope you remember to put lands in your deck. What a what a weird series of games we've played tonight. Oh, Yarok. This is cool. We go first. We've got three lands, so that gets to Rem. We've got a creature. We've got pillar and play. Yeah, okay. Seems good. We just got to keep opponent's ramp off the board here, I think, if their ramp is creature-based. Gotta keep their ramp off the board, and we've got to apply pressure with Ram as quickly as possible, because this 3-5 with lifelink is going to be very difficult for us to answer. Parhelion floating by in the background. Okay, Bloodthirsty Adversary. And we will attack him for one. I have yet to cast this Bloodthirsty Adversary, and I really, really, really want to. Seems cool. Okay. Opponent playing very conservatively. 
I can respect that. Attack is free. Alright, now Rem is hopefully going to be online. We've got some burn spells we can do stuff with. Whiff, 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 whiff. They did not whiff. Shoot. I'm going to pillar this out of the way because we need to get damage in. Unfortunately, this is probably the Yara coming down this turn, but if we draw another red source, we can get rid of it. Did not draw a red source. That's not going to work. That's only going to deal 4 damage to it. That's only going to deal 3 damage to it. That's only going to deal 3 damage to it. Attack with Rem. We need more red mana. I'm really concerned about this deck with its 40 mana sources plus several uh, transform double face, modal double face lands. We have definitely not seen a lot of lands so far tonight. I mean, our opponent has only ramped one mana. Trial of Ambition. I will sacrifice a creature. I will sacrifice a creature. That's a cool ETB. Cloudkin Seer, draw two cards. Yep. Boy, oh boy, I wonder how this game's going to go. A car fell. Hmm. Ah, there's, there's red mana. That's three, and that's three. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually split that up. And let's gain a little life, put a flashbacker in the yard. All right, now, if our opponent has a land, they uh, or a ramp source of some kind, if they have a land, they can replay Yarok, which has us asking, or to answer exactly the same question again. All right, Hostage Taker, but they can't recast Rem from here. So we should be able to... Okay, had a land. Interesting. Just going to recast Ram here, so they can't do anything tricksy, and then we'll work on wiping their board as we go. Oh, Meteor Golem. Ouch. Alright, goodbye, Rem. Goodbye forever. They are at ten, though, which is not nothing. They're a lot of mana. want so I want to be able to cast this for eight but we're probably not going to get to do that dog we gotta have an insane chance to draw land at this point like there's just what do we we've got one two three four five of our 40 so 35 cards out of 85 good god come on deck I think we just pass it up and hit this for the scry, maybe get another land to be able to sacred fire. Yep, tireless provisioner, and they're going to start getting treasure. Oh, swaggy! Life gain, you say? Concession! out of me just once tonight i love to see this deck just go off we'll play one more game and see if we can't actually oh look i leveled up and got a whole bunch of stuff let's apply a mastery orb while we're here Boop. cool only need two four six eight more mastery orbs to complete the set 
Wonder if I'll get there before Crimson Vow comes out. Okay, all right. This could be interesting. Mono white, or is it white green? Shall I? Uh, we've got turn one tapped mana, which is fine because we're on the play. We can play rip apart a royal eruption. All right, cool. It's got turn three rem, and there's a grape shot involved. I think that's neat. So shall I? I guess is white green. So, once again, our goal is to keep stuff off the board. Hasn't worked out super well for us so far, but we'll give it a shot. Aha, the tap land in me sees the tap land in you. I see you, Kazandu Mammoth. I'm going to play Rem next turn and try to set up for a big following turn. Ooh, Volcanic Fallout. Even better. Well, not better necessarily, but certainly a board wipe. Alright, so opponent is green mana so far. That feels good. Maybe they're struggling. Stone Coil. Alright. All right, two twos, all the way down. I mean, I'm not gonna not cast this. Wipe their board to tag them for four? Seems great. What do you got, opponent? Nothing. All right. Cool. That felt cool. That was exactly the stuff you put the board wipes in there for. Okay. Then where else? Gonna go ahead and rip that gentleman apart and attack for four again. Kinda honks a little bit to have to waste that, but at least we have a Magecraft trigger. Hmm. Move to the command zone. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Cool. Still got to attack for four. And now shall I. That's not enough. That's enough. I want to keep Shalai off the battlefield. So I'm going to also want to be able to cast or to attack my opponent for four I hope the opponent does not have another land and they don't they are however going to gain some life nope they're going to get plus one plus one counters ah radiant scroll reel there hello you're great you're fantastic And we get back Reckless Rage. Is it greedy? Is it greedy? Is it greedy? I think it's greedy. And we gain a bunch of life. Definitely not attacking. Oh, Helm of the Host. Well.
Hmm. Frustrating we have to do this, but we do get to attack our opponent for a whole lot. And that gets exiled. Seal away, seal away, seal away, hey. All right, let's see. Almost anything you give me back, uh, deck or Radiant Scroll Wielder, is uh, a killer. Killer of Flame. Okay, we finally... I'm a, I said it was going to be the last game, and we got to see the deck do the thing. Ah, it's great. Radiant Scroll Wielder. Card's great. Love it. I love to see it. Cool. Well, I'll bring the deck list back up for a little bit so we can look at it and marvel over... Uh, what just happened, and the horrible land draws we saw there for a while. But I thought it was fun. I really enjoy this deck, and like I said, when I've been playing Historic Brawl lately and Brawl, I've been having more fun losing than I have been winning Standard, so... Seems good. Uh, Volcanic Fallout, Anger of the Gods, and Deafening Clarion are three cards that I absolutely can recommend to anybody who is uh, playing Rem. The extra damage is just a, a real a real beating. Same with Grape Shot, as we've seen there a couple of times when we were playing just that grape shot especially just turning every grape shot into two is just mm, chef kiss fantastic but uh yeah so i think it's fun if you like throwing spells at people's faces then i absolutely think this is a very fun deck uh things i wish we could have seen showdown of the scalds just because i have not uh cast that yet in this deck um aurelia the one time we had to mulligan her away was kind of annoying and lorehold command just because i really like the commands every single one of them they've ever printed just make me happy. Modal spells make me happy, and the commands are great. So, if you uh, if you like this video, please uh, do the engagement down below. Do the liking, the commenting. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the deck. Tell me I'm an absolute doink for misplaying or whatever it is you want to do. And uh, check us out at www.superliminalfilms.com. We can also be found on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, basically anywhere the words superliminal and films can be found next to one another. Uh, we're here on YouTube every Thursday. We're here on or here. We're on Twitch every Sunday and the first Saturday of every month with special bonus streams peppered in as we can. So until the next time I see you, bye everybody.